Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to show you how to make these lovely little flowers. They're really, really pretty. They're easy to make. So the you can make these with scrap yarn as well. You don't need a lot of yarn to make these pretty little flowers. So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to make what's called a magic ring. Put the tail end of the yarn down your hand like this. Wrap the yarn around your hand like a cross. That's your working yarn over here. Take your hook, put it under the tail end, the top of the tail end, and just pull that yarn through like that. Take your fingers out. Just get your working part of your yarn. A little gentle pull, wrap over your hook and pull through. So you have this little lasso almost. Give it a little pull to make it a little bit smaller like this. Now what the magic ring does or the magic circle is it pulls it in like this. So when you've done your little centerpiece you can pull it really really tight and like this so we're going to use a treble crochet if you're in the if you're in the uk this is called a treble crochet if you're in the usa or a different country it's called a double crochet so i've already got one chain so two and three i've chained three that's counting as my first stitch Put your yarn over your hook and put it through that big loop. Pull your yarn through, yarn over again, pull through two stitches, through two loops, sorry, yarn over and through your next two loops. So we've got two, count your chain, that's one, count your stitches, two. Yarn over into the loop, that's three. Yarn over, through in the big loop, pull it back. We're going to do that until we have 12 stitches. Count that chain, it's one, two, three, four. This one's five. Six. Seven. Is 12. Now we're going to count them just to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and my chain is number 12. Put my hook back in my stitch. So, what you're going to do now is get your little tail and we're going to pull that little ring in tight. Just pull it. Pull, pull, pull that tail and that's pulled your stitches into this nice little ring. So here we've got our chain of three. One, two, three. Into the top of that chain of three. One, two, three. Push your hook through. Put your yarn over. Pull a loop through and through again. And that's you joined your little circle like this. You're going to chain three. One, two, three. That's your first stitch. Chain one more. The one more is for your chain space. So chain four. Into the top of the next stitch, you're going to do a treble crochet. Push your hook through. Pull your yarn back, yarn over, through two loops, and through two loops. Now the reason we did four is, it becomes your first stitch plus your chain of one. So chain one, into the next stitch, do a treble crochet. Chain one. Treble crochet into the top of the next stitch all the way around 
And remember that chain one, chain one, yarn over through the next stitch. Chain one, yarn over and do a treble crochet all the way around. Chain one and to the top of the next stitch through two loops, yarn over through two loops, chain one and we're making a little wagon wheel. It looks like a little wagon wheel once we're finished. Chain one. This chain was four, so count three spaces in this chain. One, two and three. We're going to slip into the third chain, the third stitch of this chain, not the fourth one, but the third one. And pull your stitch through. So what we have is this little wheel. Now, I told you you can make this with your scraps of yarn. Pull your yarn through like that. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to quickly sew in the ends. I just bring it in through that top stitch, slide it down through the treble crochet like that and a couple of little stitches here on the back just to hold this in. Push it through there, take my scissors Snip that yarn off. I'll do the same with this little tail. You can leave it until you're finished, but it's a little bit easier if you just do it just now. You can make a whole lot of these when you're sitting watching the TV. And then you can do all the petal part of it. So I just sat and I done a whole load of these centre pieces like this and then I sat and I done the rest of it. They're really pretty for putting on on blankets. You can put stitch a button in there or a bead or you can if you're not giving it to a child you can glue a flat back pearl onto there or a little diamond. So that's that one stitched in. So what we're going to do now with it is we're going to make the little frill like this. I'm going to take my pink yarn and I'm going to go down the bottom of any of the posts. It doesn't matter which one. Put your hook through like this. Pull your yarn through. Pull the yarn through like that. Put your yarn over and chain three. One, two and three. So make sure your stitch is down at the bottom of that post down there. So this is the way your little wheel is and we're starting down here. We're going to work up this post and we're going to work around this post that chain of three counts is your first stitch and we need to put five up that post. So put your yarn over. What you're going to do is you're going under that post like that. Keep your under the post and as you come back, pull your yarn through. So you've got three stitches on your hook. Yarn over. It might be easier just to nip it like this. Pull through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. So on that post we've got two stitches. Yarn over, 
go through under the post and pull through through two loops through two loops so we've got three count your chain one two three we need five another two through that under the post that's four one more is five so this is what it looks like so what you've done is you've worked you've started down here and work five crochets around the post like that five times so now we're going to go across here put five treble crochets around this chain under and through that's one through the chain space that's two through the chain space that's three through the chain space that's four and through the chain space that's five treble crochets across the chain space turn it just slightly it might be better just to nip it so it looks like another chain space we're going to work down around this post so yarn over you're going under and we're going to work down this post so pull your yarn through yarn over through two loops and through two loops so we're going to work down this way it may be easier just to fold it over and treat it like a chain space so we've done one that's two that's three that's four and one more is five So this is what you've got. So now what we're going to do is put your yarn over and you're going to go up to this chain space. So what we're doing is you're going to work around that post and down and then we're going to jump up to this one and down and then go back up to here, work through the chain space and down. The so it looks like a little petal just now. But we're going to turn it into that little wriggle by going yarn over and up to the chain space. So go through and pull your yarn through and finish that treble crochet. And it's going to twist that and make it start to come up this way yarn over that's just done one that's two that's three four and five and this is what it looks like it's slowly going up and down back up and down so now we're going to work down this way so it's easier if you just nip it like that so yarn over under the post we're going to work behind this post pull it through you've got three loops yarn over through two yarn over and through two yarn over under the post again the same post Pull your work up through two, yarn over and through two. So it's a little easier just to fold it in half and work down that post. That's has got two, that's three, that's four, one more makes five. 
open up again. Just give it a little sort of twist around. So we're going up to this chain space here. So yarn over and yep, you're going to jump from here up to here. And that's going to make that fold over like this. Through your two loops, yarn over and through your two loops. If that loop's too big, make sure you just pull it in. Don't have your loop on here too slack. So yarn over, up to that chain space, pull through, through two loops, and through two loops. So that's one. Two, three, four, and five across there. So you can see what's happening. It's building up that little frill around your little wheel. All the way around my little flower. And I've just got this last top section here to do. So I've gone from the bottom here up to this top. Yarn over. And I'll put my five treble crochets along here. This is the fiddliest bit. One. Two. Three. four and five so I finished across the top and this was where we started and that's my chain of three don't join it from this way turn that way and go from the front the top of that chain of three Put your hook through from the front through to the back and pull through and pull through that stitch. If you come through from this side, you'll get a wonky join. So you need to do it that way. Just snip your yarn off, yarn over your hook, pull it through that last stitch and there you go that's you got your little flower we'll put this on the darning needle onto the darning needle and we're just going to sew through go into the joint and stitch my end in to the back. I'll just come down and this is what the back looks like. So bring that down and we'll hide the end in through here. Just pull it through, snip your end off and we'll stitch in this last little piece. We'll just put a couple of stitches in down here to hold this end in nice and snug. Just push it through to hide the end. A little snip. And there you go. I like making these, it doesn't take very long at all and pretty soon you'll have, that's the back of them, so pretty soon you'll have a whole load of these little flowers. So thank you very much for watching, please click on the subscribe button down here. Click on the button, subscribe to my channel. It is free to subscribe to my channel. You can also click on the bell icon and you'll be notified when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.